What's happening folks and welcome to another episode of Stars of Tomorrow, an FM21 series where we look at some of the young talent on Football Manager and we see how FM reckons are get on the course of their careers. And these are all players that you guys in the comments section have suggested. So quickly, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for new of daily content on this channel. In fact, three videos a day actually, if FIFA keeps going. We'll see what the reaction like that coming back in and that schedule is. Um, also, 7pm uh, every night, a Man United video goes live on the Man United Let's Play. We will, we will rebuild Manchester United. And obviously every day at 10am in the morning you get one of these videos as well. So, let any content go away and stream will come back in the new year. Um, I'm not going to do it over Christmas because I'm working. I want to enjoy Christmas. I've actually got four days off around Christmas. Christmas Day, Boxing Day, um, and also I've got, uh, hang on, the two days after that. Also, there'll be no videos on Christmas Day and there'll be no videos on Boxing Day. Uh, I'm going to take two days off loading um, just so that I've got a bit of a break. Um, and that kind of thing. I do think it's important that we spend time with family. I know that more than anybody. That's what happened this year. Um, so, if you want to know the rules about getting your player in the comment in this, in this series, simple as this: down below in the comment section, make sure you leave as much info on that player as you can. Name, play, name, position, uh, club, nationality, age, all that kind of stuff. Also, check the playlist. Check the playlist. Make sure it's not he's not been requested already. And most importantly, make sure you check the schedule as well, which is down in the description. There's a link there to a Google document. Also, I can't stress this enough, limit yourself to two requests at one time. What I don't mean is one comment, then another video on the video, one comment on the video, and then the next video goes out, making another comment again. Wait till your pleasures have been done then make your next two suggestions. It's just to be fair, if some people have been making like five and six suggestions, and it's unfair to everybody else. And I, I do it in an order where it gets requested, I, I put them on the list. So to be fair, make two suggestions. You may find that your player gets done anyway. Right, let's get going, shall we? So today is Yuri Shelly Selly. Selly? I'm quite silly, why not? Um, a central attacking mid and also left winger. Stay away, what jumps out of me? Oh yeah, that that concentration is insane. That's not. It's the corner kicks and dribbling. Oh, no, sorry, not corner kicks and crossing, sorry. That stand out. Figgy taken as well. Passing and technique. Definitely sticks guy in your set pieces. Uh, definitely. And you can play him wide as well, actually, because if you cross the ball in the box, it doesn't matter what kind of weak foot he's got. Um, 18 years old, Peruvian at the, in the Peruvian in the Peruvian Premier League. Um, his weak, uh, weak foot is weak. Say weak foot, even mode here. Um, left foot is very strong, so I'd be more inclined to play him in a central central area. So yeah, let's have a look at how much he'd cost, and then we'll look at the look at his pros and cons. So actually, if you're a European club, you can actually get this guy on a pre-contract deal. Um, Potentially, um, but obviously he is keeping his options open on that. So with that in mind, uh, that you can maybe get him on a free transfer uh, earlier. I'm just using United for the second of United. There's another reason why I'm doing it. Um, if you were trying to get a fee for him, um, you would have to offer 70 million pounds. We know to make sure that he gets a work permit, that kind of thing. So work permit is an issue with the, with him, but the P-contract P contract deal is there. So bear that in mind, this could be a problem for you guys signing him. But then again, maybe you're looking for a long-term signing for him. So let's jump into, jump into the club he's currently at and look at his pros and cons. So as you can see on the screen now, now we're now taking now managing the club he's currently at. He's got three star ability currently, four and a half star potential, um, and all that stuff. I'm not gonna do the ranges anymore because I feel like they kind of don't really mean anything. You know what I mean? It, it, it's all different on each game. The range is different, so I don't think it makes a difference, really. Um, and also, um, I don't really think, you know, it makes a bad player be in a high range. He's doing a good, good, good uh, work out of them. So, yeah, coach reports. Have a look here. So, day one footed, we knew that already. Weakest attribute is his anticipation. Uh, he's got a uh, good card kick taker, uh, natural good positions, good positions, good taking set pieces, technical player. So, yeah. What was what we thought really looking at him from the start was his technical abilities, what stands out, his corner kicks crossing, 
um, and passing technique generally. Long jump, but long jump, long jump ain't bad either. So yeah, first jump. Let's go. Well, folks, he's gone to PSG, um, which is interesting. Um, we've got two new player traits on him. He throws weaker foot, makes sense, and likes to switch ball into wide areas. Again, with passing and the visual and technique, that makes sense. Relatively the same stats overall. Um, passing off to 16. Um, looking at his history of injuries here, and looks all right to be honest with you. So, how did PhD when did PhD get him? They got him in 21, 22 for 750k. Already, he's a bargain. Um, he's an absolute bargain. Um, on with that, I think obviously, look at these stats here. Add your own personal personal um, influence on him, then you know there's definitely. An exciting player here. So they played him actually in the second division a lot. Um, so I'm not sure how to deal with this really because I'm actually playing him in the first team more. You know? You've seen a lot more of him. With 11.5 million pounds. PSG obviously not got leash cards on him or anything like that. So yeah, um, solid. Can okay, play left wing, can play central attacking mid. Pace is not terrible, but it's not, 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 not my first preference. But I think I think you can make him a CM. With the vision, the technique, and the passing he's got, a CM is definitely doable. Um, and especially a playmaker, definitely doable. So yeah, hopefully he moves to a, another European club and gets some first team football in the high divisions. Alright folks, as you can see here, he's moved to Al Shabab, is it? I don't want to offend the uh, Saudi uh, Premier Pro League, but that's how I'd say it anyway. So he's in the Saudi League, which is interesting. And what and what's stayed stable is his technical ability. He's been quite consistent throughout the whole whole, whole um, simulation. Um, so I think this is pretty. He's pretty good. I don't think you're going to have massive issues with him dropping off. Um, so look at his injury record here. One major injury for a hip injury for two months. Apart from that, relatively okay. So at PSG, he didn't really get a fair crack at the whip um, there, which is a common problem I've been having here. Goes to Saudi for what's his, his goals, 16 assists. I mean, 18 and 13. It's not even funny, is it? 18 and 13. He's too good for that league. He could play in the Premier League. Generally, he could. If I was like a mid-table Premier League side trying to build something on a budget, which I may do on the series later on, guys, um, he would be someone I'd be at my eye on. Especially, uh, you, you know, I love, you know, you know, love Cam, do you? I think this guy's quality, I really do. Um, so this was the, the first run through, because I felt there's not much, well, you know what I mean? It's not, it's not terrible, is it? And I always think, when I'm doing these reviews, I always think to myself, right, this guy looks for the game simulating it. Let's think about a user who's good at the game, which is not me, actually being that kind of specific about his development. And I think then you get, you know, a, you know, a, a better player from that. I think this is a good, really good player. Not not overly expensive, quite stable. And I think there's, I think, I think if you play him regularly, he'll get better. And I think obviously you tell your team around him. Not kind of stuff so yeah, let's continue guys. Let's see if we go back to Europe or anything, because I think Saturday League is a bit too easy for him. So guys, yeah, stable player, 157 goals in Saudi really, jeez. Um, very stable, basically you could just screenshot the first uh, 18 year old version of him and then jump here and you won't see much difference really on the page drop and down a little bit. So I think for the fee you're paying for for this guy, he's not massive, he's, he, he's fantastic I think. PC did the old buy and not play him, which is unfortunate. Um, not gonna, I'm not going to go for his goals at Saudi because you know he's got, he's got a book load. Um, we'll quickly scan it through now, you can see like, he's got like double figures every season. I think he's a good player. I really do. I think he's a, he's, a, he's a little gem. Could be awkward to start the game with the whole work permit thing in Europe, England, for example, and, you know, wanting to see where he wants to go with his contract. Um, but definitely try and pick him up, pick him, pick him, pick him up if you can, um, because I think you've got a decent bargain here, especially if you're building a side. Uh, it's not, maybe if you're like a Madrid, he's not going to be for you. So then again, I'm sure you can make it work. But if you like, I'm trying to think of nothing the sides here. If you are a, I'm trying to think of something now, an Aston Villa um, or something like that, you know, who's trying to push the highlights of the Premier League and you can attract this guy, then I think you've definitely got something, something you can use. Um, thank you for 
the suggestion. Thank you so much for the support on these videos. I really enjoy making content for you guys. It won't go on forever, obviously, uh, <laughs> but I love making content now. There's no plans to slow down at any point. Uh, I even got plans to improve the rig I'm using and get, get the 4K as native or 2K native recording so that we're recording in 2K um, and then upgrading to 4K because right now I upgrading for, to 4K for videos because the reason being that I get the higher, I get the higher video codec um, and, without, and, just, and if you're going to go to 2K you might as well go to 4K Ball, ball, balls out on it so I'm hoping to get a 2K monitor I'm hoping to get a better graphics card on the PC I'm getting the PS5, so the PS5 content coming on the channel as well. FIFA is on the channel as well, keep an eye on that series as well, Man United. I am trying not to bang my, bang my head against the wall playing that game, I still think it's completely broken, but hey, we'll try um, and keep it going. So, FIFA does today, folks, 10 a.m., 2 p.m., and 7 p.m. Let me know, guys, what you think about that schedule. If we don't like it, I'll just bin off FIFA. If you, really, you don't want to see that, you want to see Book Manager only, that is fine. And I, what I'll do then is bring on Let's Plays. Um, other games every so often when I get inspired to play one. Um, so yeah, um, like I said, follow the rules, start the video to sweet, sweet your players, and I'll see you all tomorrow for another load, which is already been simulated and ready to go. But until next time, thank you so much for watching.